Meet Antoinette Frank. She was a cop with a badge and a gun. But behind the uniform, Antoinette Frank had a dark secret. From bribery to murder, this corrupt officer would stop nothing to get what she wanted. Get ready to delve into the shocking story of Antoinette Frank, a cop gone rogue, and the devastating consequences of her actions. Stay tuned till the end and witness what's called real horror. Antoinette had her sights set on becoming a police officer, so in 1993, she applied to join the New Orleans Police Department. But she got caught fibbing on her application not once, but several times. And if that wasn't bad enough, she also flunked two psychological evaluations. However, due to some weird changes, the New Orleans Police Department were short on officers thanks to some corruption scandal, so they gave Antoinette a second chance and let her reapply. And what do you know, this time she got the job. A lucky break, huh? Now this story is about to get juicy. Here's Rogers Lacaz. Rogers was a small-time drug dealer and he got himself emotionally attached to Antoinette Frank. Their relationship was not your average one. They started hooking up, and not just in the privacy of their own homes. They took it to the streets, riding around in Frank's police cruiser, getting dirty in alleys and behind housing projects. Now, what you're gonna know, you'll feel, it's like something out of a crime novel, but with a twist of insanity. So on a fine night in March 1995, Antoinette Frank and Rogers Lacaz decided to pay a visit to a Vietnamese restaurant where Frank worked part-time as a security guard. It was a slow night, as owner Chow Vu was ready to call it a day. But just when she thought it was all over, she realized that the key was missing. That's when she noticed Officer Ronald Williams was still around, and she decided to pay him and let him go home. But then, to her horror, she saw Antoinette Frank lurking in the dining room, like a shady character from a B-movie. Now, Officer Williams knew Frank all too well. He also knew Lacaz, and he saw him as nothing more than a third-rate thug. Chow spotted Frank in the dining room and immediately got a gut feeling that something fishy was going on. To top it off, when Williams asked Frank about a missing key, she straight up ignored him and made a beeline for the kitchen. Williams was just minding his own business when Lacaz storms in and fires a single 9mm bullet into the back of his head. But that wasn't enough for him, no. He proceeded to unload two more shots into Williams' helpless body, swiped his wallet and gun, and then hightailed it out of there with his accomplice. Frank. And then, things took a turn for the worse. Frank and Lacaz started scouring the place for cash, but Chow could only watch in horror as Frank made his way over to her brother and sister, who were already holding hands and sobbing uncontrollably. With no mercy in her heart, Frank then proceeded to shoot both of them in the head without batting an eye. Once the dust settled, Chow's brother quickly sprinted to a neighbor's house and dialed 911. But unfortunately, the terror wasn't over yet. Before long, Frank showed up in his uniform until other cops intervened. Frank tried to play it cool and asked Chow if she was okay, but she was visibly shaken. But the seasoned NOPD homicide detective, Eddie Rance, had a gut feeling that something wasn't adding up. As Rance and his partner interrogated Frank, the truth slowly started to unravel, and at last, Frank and Lacaz were arrested. In September of 1995, Antoinette Frank was in for the trial of her life, accused of murder. It didn't take long for the jury to liberate and come back with a verdict, just 22 minutes in fact. Frank was found guilty and sentenced to death. She still resides on Louisiana death row to this day. But Frank wasn't alone in her conviction. Rogers Lacaz was also found guilty and given the death penalty, although his sentence was later reduced to life in prison without parole. Despite Judge Frank Marullo signing a death warrant for Frank and sentencing her to death by lethal injection, the Louisiana Supreme Court stepped in and canceled the execution date. They ordered a local judge to allow more time for Frank's lawyers to file a post-conviction appeal for her 1995 sentence for three first-degree murders. While Marullo believed that Frank had exhausted her appeal options, her defense attorneys argued that she had yet to have a full-blown appeal of the jury verdict condemning her to die by lethal injection. In a surprising move, the Supreme Court recalled the death warrant on Monday without providing a written opinion. They also put a hold on Frank's case, pending her post-conviction appeal. According to attorney Gary Clements, director of the Capital Post-Conviction Appeals Project of Louisiana, the Supreme Court is stopping everything right now. We're just starting the post-conviction appeal. 
It's the first and only time that anybody who has lost their trial can come in and bring evidence of things that should have been brought in before and other new things that are discovered now. So, what will happen next in this legal drama? Only time will tell. But what do you think about this deadly woman? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.